Now, Ryan Purdy thought he was doing a good thing when he started restoring old traffic lights to educate kids about road safety. But his good deed backfired when his former boss went after him, accusing him of stealing. Every time I'm in the car, morning or night, there's traffic. I don't know if it's the return to work that's made the roads particularly painful, but it's bad. And the traffic lights? I cop every single red. If you're not a fan of traffic either, imagine coming home to this. So, Ryan, what do the uh, neighbours think of what's going on in your backyard? Ah, I think they know me by now. It's the backyard of nightmares for most, but this is Melbourne dad Ryan Purdy's happy place. So, how many of these have you got in your yard at the moment? Um, probably got about 40 down there. 40? And then 40 and probably about 30 over there. And I make them work like this. So, as you can see, that will flash there and then it will start this cycle here. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, yeah. This is kind of weird. Is it? It's hard not to like Ryan and his collection when you hear what he says is behind it. The devoted father has helped children at some 220 kindergartens and schools across Australia, restoring, then donating traffic signals so little ones can learn the rules. Red means stop, flower means slow down, and green means go. Well, I've got three kids myself, so teaching them road safety was the most important thing. Um, I noticed that a lot of schools don't offer a lot of road safety programs. He really is passionate about road safety. Sally Ann Gardner at Good Start Early Learning Centre has only good things to say about his program. The children love it. Uh, we have quite a few families that will drive past and they'll talk about the traffic light and that promotes conversation with road safety with families too. Do you get paid for it? No. No, it's all been free. The cost was quite um, expensive at one stage. Most of my parts I have to buy are from America, so the Australian dollar and the American dollar is always different. Me recycling, upcycling and bringing it back to life again. So the traffic signal doesn't meet standards anymore for Vic Roads and yep. that's when it gets put into this skip and it's everything from railway crossings, traffic signals, traffic signals these signs. pedestrian signals here, These pedestrian here. ones, yep. But Ryan's do-gooder reputation has taken a serious detour, police charging him with stealing the traffic lights. He claims he had an unofficial arrangement with maintenance contractor Tyco Traffic and Transportation for four years, where he would pick up unwanted equipment to go towards his project. Ryan claims the relationship soured after Tycho gave him a job. What started as a driver role, he says, turned into other duties Ryan wasn't happy with. I started to kink up a stink and say, hey, look, I'm actually getting a bit sick of this and no one's training me in this. And they said, you'll do what we effing tell you to do. And I said, I'm not doing it. And I walked out and I drove home. And I wrote to the manager at the time and I said, I'm not doing this job. It's no coincidence, in Ryan's eyes, that after years taking traffic lights without a problem, it was only days after lodging a work cover claim that police swooped. I've never been that type of person. I've never been charged with anything in my life and this has come as a big shock. Ryan's arrest does sound rather dramatic for someone accused of stealing traffic lights. After finishing some shopping, he says eight or nine plain clothed detectives confronted him in this car park and handcuffed him before putting him in a divvy van. Ryan claims he then copped some 17 hours of questioning while officers searched his home. Police allege they found more than 7,000 stolen items at Ryan's home. Did you steal these traffic lights? Nope, I have not stolen any traffic lights. I've had pr proof and permission over the four to five years, even while working there, that I could still do my program and I could still take all these lights home. Ryan has kept texts and emails, which he says proves it. I feel a bit fearful. I mean, worst case scenario for me, I will end up in jail um, because this will go to the county court. The dad doesn't talk to his kids about the case, losing sleep over what may transpire. And it's made finding another job a nightmare in itself. On the first day of my job, they knew that I was the traffic light guy and I had to explain myself in a way where there's pending charges of theft. And it's not just stealing old grandma's handbag, it's 250000 It's quarter of a million dollars. I couldn't continue working there. How hard are you going to fight this? I'm going to fight this all the way to the end.